Wait, so you're saying they should take money from Ukraine and just give it to Hawaii, right? They Sounds should just not reasonable. give. They just they just gave another package. They're producing another package that Anthony Blinken dude just went to Ukraine like last week after all this Maui stuff. And they're like, we're going to give $1 billion to Ukraine. But guess what? We're going to give each person in Hawaii that lost something, we're going to give you each $600. I think it was 700 bro. Oh, Get your bad. numbers right. Oh. That was like the COVID Thank God. thing. That's probably groceries in Hawaii because everything's so damn expensive. 700 bucks? You know how expensive their shit is? Per person? They got to they gotta fly a lot of stuff in there. To Maui? I know. To Hawaii, yeah. The, the... In general. You think it's a conspiracy? I don't know. I just think they're not caring enough. I watched a video of a woman on, what was it, Instagram? She said, um, why did Oprah hire a bunch of personal security and firefighters or something for her house right before the fire? See, the problem with watching videos like that, though, is I don't know. She could just say that. Okay. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't look into it. But why would you say it? Like, if people are lying, why are you online lying about shit? There's... <laughs> I know so did Oprah hire? I don't know, but there's there are videos where you can take stuff from. Obviously, there's videos where like you could be like ah, I don't know, but there's videos that are very blatantly obvious. There's like this old man oh, yeah. who had property. Do you see him talking to the cops and they won't let him onto his property? I've seen a ton of videos. He's like, "This is my right," and they're even stating the laws there. And the cops are like, "Well, you can't come on here right now." He's like, "You're telling me I can't come on to my own property that I own." Like all this stuff in there, and I don't know exactly how it goes, but they're even like, there's other people there, like stating the laws, and then they, then they're like, so the cops can not obey the laws, but we have to. Yeah, I don't understand how this works. I'm, it's scary. Yeah, it's just very strange, and they don't cover it really, and it's just strange we're not helping out our own people. I mean, this is our country. Shouldn't we be like taking care of our own people? It's, how could the cops be in on it? Because you're not, somebody even said for like, I'm not saying this is all people. Obviously it's not. I'm sure not all people agree with it. But even when you become military, your job isn't to like, when you do military stuff, it's not to like, it's not for the American people, right? It's for the country. So like so you're, you, just, you got, you got, they got their laws and rules that they abide by. Like they're doing stuff for their, their government right in the country they're not necessarily doing stuff for the american people in general you're just following orders basically and cops too they got their orders right it's their job they're told to do this yeah so you were and if told, you're not if they're, if they're like well if you don't do your job like you're not working right right so you were told as a cop just block these streets off because cops they're saying cops were blocking the exits out of mm -hmm. the city so people were like they had to stay in the burn zone and they were dying because cops had blockades set up and they were blocking the roads. Yeah, but what if they're like, you want your family to be safe? Like, I, I was just a whole conspiracy thing. It's kind of thing. crazy, though. It but has to be a They could say that, right? right? But like, if you want your family to be safe, you're going to do this. It almost goes back. Like, this oh, is like the what whole... would you do? <laughs> exactly. I, I don't know. I feel like I would have let a few people slip by me, right? There's obviously you know, people like, that did get away, though, I can right? see their... Yeah, but they were having to cut through fences to get... It was like they were in prison. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know... They were having to run to the ocean just to escape. There were other places they could have gone, but the roads were blocked. They yeah. were The cops were blocking the roads, skis. The big thing here is, like, I'm seeing from, like, videos and is they are not saying the amount of people that are missing. And, like, there's a lot of children missing is what people are saying, right? What I keep hearing about the missing children thing is people are saying children are missing from school. But then everybody is saying... There's no school to go to. That's why they're not showing up. The schools are burnt down. Are they, though? I don't know. <laughs> you yeah, can't ask questions like that. Because we're not none there. None of us know. Yeah. We're not there. We can't see it. What do you want me to say? But for it to be a conspiracy, it's, it's just like the NASA thing. It's like, how are you possibly going to keep this many people quiet? You live on an island. Something? They can't go nowhere. Well, that's the other thing. It's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, why not test it out on the island of Hawaii? Let's test out 
our control of people. Let's test out how we can burn things to the ground and control things and buy property and move them to this. Like, let's test this all out on a secluded island where the American population can't just easily just, oh, we're going to drive over and help. Like, people had to bring boats in to try to help, and even the boats were being turned around and pushed away. So that's where that, yeah, the conspiracy comes in. But who all has to be in on it? The mayor, who I think he resigned. He <laughs> didn't he resign the the police the firefighters a bunch all of these people, people resigned, you think, think yeah but these are real human beings yeah. right it's like I, I know firefighters we know police officers we know sheriff Corey lee right you think these people are good human beings and it's oh, just yeah. could what they if, all be in on the conspiracy okay, to burn and Af kill these people it's such a crazy step okay but what if after the fact the government came in and they're like don't come on and say anything. Like, if you do, we're going to prosecute you. We're going to throw you in prison. Like, you just leave it alone. Mm. Right? You always hear, and I get it, it's conspiracy. You can look at it all you want. But people say that all the time. Like, government officials show up at, like, thing when things happen mm -hmm. and tell them, you know, like, you're not, you saw nothing. You're not supposed to say anything. Da -da -da -da. True. This is, like, a government thing. Like, you can't say anything. Like, if you do, like, basically bad things are going to happen to you. Shit. <laughs> right? And is it true? I don't know. Obviously, but how could you enforce that with all those people? Because wouldn't, like, one of the dudes go home and tell his wife we're in danger? But they are. People are saying all kinds of stuff, but it doesn't matter. Right. We right? Don't, we don't people are making that. videos. Like, it's not changing anything. Do you know about the <laughs> Nordstrom pipeline? Yeah, I know what it is, yeah. Well, it blew up, right? On yeah, the water, the pipeline ago, yeah. from Russia to Germany or whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it got blown up and nobody we nobody knows who did it, but they were like blaming people. Countries are pointing fingers. Everybody's pointing at each other, yeah. But it, if you look into any of the facts of that story, it's America that did that. It's very clear that we blew up that pipeline. <laughs> but we might have been in cahoots with everybody else, right? Like, well, who else? Like Ukraine? Germany. We like to blame like somebody else no right, to make it happen. because that pipeline was supplying germany with oil from russia okay. or natural gas or whatever it but was. their whole thing was just to go away from that no we wanted germany to go away from they that. wanted to because we didn't want germany to get too close to russia but germany was okay with that germany suffered because that pipeline blew up like they were paying crazy prices people were freezing you remember the last winter people were dying over in germany like they mm -hmm. could they had those crazy wildfires going mm -hmm. through but my point is, they went down, this independent company or whoever, people that were investigating this Nordstrom pipeline explosion, they went down to the bottom where this explosion happened, and they found a Navy diver boot. That seems weird. That was like a United States made boot. Nah, right know. near the scene of the crime. That seems weird too. Though. Okay. <laughs> but it's like the depths that we're talking about that this pipeline was at, the depths are you, insane. So are you, it's dangerous. Do you have divers? Huh? Do you have divers going? Yeah, you would have there? to have divers and submarines so involved and stuff, right? It would be weird that the there. boot just like fell off. It's Okay, yeah, but that di seems strange. Divers yeah. have divers have commented on that, and they're like, "Your boot doesn't just come off." There's no way your boot's gonna come off at that depth underwater, especially a trained navy diver or whoever. What kind of diver is capable of going down <laughs> there to do that? Your boot's not gonna come off. Yeah. That would probably you would die anyway if that happened, right? Because your yeah. suit has to be a certain. I don't know how they do their suits and stuff, but well, you would probably be a very bad deep, scenario, pressure-wise. Pressure, yeah. yeah. So it's like just out of the blue, there's this boot just down there that ties back to America, right, <laughs> basically. <laughs> it's this boot that's made by a company, I believe, in America, and it's a, it's a Navy, Navy, the Navy uses it with their divers. So it's like that's this conspiracy thing, but it's also... It's like somebody was setting us up, it feels mm. like, at the same time. But then there's a video of Joe Biden talking about how he would destroy the pipeline. Mm. Right? So it's like, it's it's impossible to tell. My point to all this is it's so impossible to tell what's what's true and what's not because there's so much evidence there's to point. There's too much information. Yeah, there's too much shit. Too and much I think information, dude. That's what they do in a lot of situations. They They pump out 
so much information yeah. that we don't have the real stuff anymore. It gets lost, and now we've just got a bunch of fake stuff. we got a bunch of real. So you don't know what's real and what's not. Yeah. No, we don't have a clue. It's like it's, it was very obvious that pe- everybody was saying Ukraine did it, and then everybody was saying Russia did it, and then yeah. everybody, and then someone somehow a boot landed down on the bottom <laughs> of the ocean right near this that points to America, and then Joe Biden saying, "Oh, we can destroy the Nord Stream pipeline. We're going to take care of that." He was qu- he was on video saying that right before this happened. You know, with this Maui thing, it's like they have, and the conspiracy is they use lasers, right? But That's that is a, a real conspiracy. It is, but there, it is a real weapon. It's real. It is. That. It's real. It's a real thing. Okay, I believe that it's real. They can use it. They take down. They can take down any aircraft with it. They've been working on it for years. And the blue, the blue. I don't know if the blue thing's <laughs> the true or not. Shit. I don't know, but I know the weapons real. It is mounted on aircraft, and they can use it to do things. Whether it can do the high temp thing where it starts fires and like all that, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not in the military. I don't know that stuff, right? Right. But how many people have to be quiet? I guess is my point. How many people have to be silent? How many people have to know that that did that happened though? Like one or two people. The people flying the plane. You just had to find two guys to go up on that plane and do it that were willing to do it, right? If it is possible. But those two guys. Those are the only ones that would have to be. Those quiet two about. guys have to live with that. You think you could live with burning down an island of Americans? Okay. What if it wasn't even us? What if it, what was, if it was What if it was another country that did it, and we don't want to say because then our 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 security for the country looks bad. Like we can't take care of ourselves. Like we couldn't stop it. Like what if it was somebody else? What okay. if it wasn't us? What if there's here's another theory. You're right. Here's another theory. because then you look weak. Here's another theory. What if it was all an accident? And it just happened. It just happened. Everything happened and played out the way that it did. People died. The fire raged on. Now people are homeless. And now what if the government's just saying, hey, here's an opportunity for us to really take this island over the way we want. And now a lot of conspiracies can come from the way they're acting in now trying to move in and get these. This is our opportunity to take these people out. Right. We didn't create this, but. This happened, and we're like, "Oh, okay, like let's take over now." Yeah, it's like how it's 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 almost like how we all go online as civilians. We everybody's got their podcasts, and everybody's got their YouTube videos and these conspiracy videos, and we all go online and we put our fears out into the world. Right? We're like, "The government's going to take over." How are they going to do it? We explain to everybody how we think the government's going to do it. They're going to make us put chips in our hands. They're going to give us all digital money and put us on a social credit score system. They're going to replace our food with this that they now control. And but it doesn't well, that take... But kind of happening. Right. But what if all that wasn't really happening? What if the people who want bad things to happen to the American people or people in general, what if all they really need to do... It's just listen to what we're saying. We're telling them all of our fears. Mm-hmm. We're telling we're we're laying out in detail how we think oh, they yeah. could do it, and if they're they, able to watch that and just say, "Oh, we could do that." And if they are doing <laughs> it, then stop them. Like the thing with the the taking over and making fake meat, right? Well, then go out and buy land and raise cattle so we have meat. No, you the, can't. You can't buy land though because you can. Land is can. ridiculously expensive. It is. Real but estate companies and big companies are buying up all the land. Exactly. They're buying up houses. But people allowed that to happen. Less and less people. The thing is, like, the meat industry, like, even, I mean, look at, like, people even we know, right? We know, like, our my boss, your ex-boss, right? He, he raises cattle. Mm-hmm. But his kids aren't interested in it at all. Like, you know, I'm, I'm nothing against them, but they, you know, they don't want to do it. So if they got it, would they sell it? What would they do with it? They're not going to keep. They're not going to go in there and and raise cattle and sell the meat. They're going to give it to somebody else, right? So why realistically, they... you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So what do you think they would do? Do you think they're going to raise cattle? No. Okay. I don't think either one of them do you would think want that. The only thing I could see maybe they would sell it to somebody who would do it, but right. Maybe not. Maybe they just sell it to the highest bidder. Yeah. The highest bidder could just be somebody that wants property. 
No that's more a, cattle. That's a problem. Yeah. That, but that's the thing. That's what's happening in this country. Like less and less people are wanting to do those things. Nobody wants to be farmers anymore. Nobody wants to. So like these, that's the issue with, you say these companies are coming in and buying up the land and everyone's going to have to eat fake meat. Well, that's because nobody wants to do the other stuff. We say nobody, but there are there's some plenty of people that want to do the farming life. Eh, there's less. Less, but still enough. And they're just or getting the constantly. Or the know-how. They're just constantly it. getting effed over by do the system. Do they know? The farming does not. They get money left and right. They the ranchers maybe is a little different. They get money, but I don't know how much they're making. Right. Mm. They keep. They get money to do <laughs> their operation. Million dollar equipment. I don't think yeah, it's but that equipment terrible. is on a payment plan every mm. year. They're not buying that with cash. Yeah. Our I'm, farmers I'm also seeing some people that ain't strapped either for cash. Right. For <laughs> sure. When you have that much. Like, uh, what's the word? You have that much. Asset. Yeah, assets laying around. For sure, you have, you, have you know, money. you have buying power, basically. Yeah. You can do that. You can negotiate with you your shit. You can do shit. that your whole life. Right. But. Doesn't mean they've got tons of money. But, I mean, that's that's where I see things happening. And there's not people wanting to jump in and do those things. How many people are wanting to, like, do these hard jobs or, like, I mean, like, raising cattle isn't. I mean, it's probably not super hard, but it's not easy, right? Like, nobody wants to go arms deep into a cow and pull a calf out. There's a lot of people that aren't going to do that. What are you talking about? I freaking, <laughs> I love that. But there's a lot of people that won't, Just kidding. right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. So yeah. what's your tying that back into... The buying... No, tying that back into conspiracies and go, and us giving our fears well, to the government. What the, are you... the conspiracy thing was they're buying up all the land right. and going to make us eat all this fake meat, okay, right? Okay, yeah. Like Bill Gates. And, yeah. And buying up all the land, which he's is buying land, but at that point, like at the, his point too, if you were him, you're not working, you have a bunch of money, what are you going to do? Like, are you bored? So maybe he's just bored. And he's like, I'm going to go buy some property because I can. Like, maybe it has nothing to do with any of that stuff. You do have to do things. Yeah. If you got you that do much stuff with money, your money, you need to keep your money working. So the more money you have, the more you can just, yes, let's do this business. You, you venture. can't be in let's... physical control of that money because then it gets taxed. Shit. <laughs> so, so what? You don't think there's any conspiracies? No, there it's... definitely is some point to some conspiracies, right? Like, they're not all wrong. They're not. But we just have no way of knowing anymore. With the, <laughs> with the Maui shit, it's just like, what do you want us to do anymore? It's, I don't know what's real. In fa <laughs> let's, back to, let's watch this video real quick. Can we do that? Yeah. We can go back to your, when you're talking about the Nord Stream Pipeline, though. Yeah. You got to watch. Uh, yeah. You, did you, you seen the video where, where they go back when Trump was still president and he said what would happen to Germany with Russia and becoming dependent? And everybody in Germany's like house was like laughing at him when he's up there talking. And exactly what he said would happen, happened to him. To Germany? Yeah. They're all laughing at Trump when he's up there telling them, this is what's going to happen. Da, 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 da. Like there's video of Trump saying it in like their house, like in Germany, where like all their politicians are stuff. And he's talking, talking and telling them what's good. You guys are going to become this dependent on Russian oil and gas, like by this time, you know? And, oh, yeah. And then they are all laughing at him. Yeah, I remember that. And then it happened afterwards after Biden got his six. Trump was like he predicted the future. <laughs> it's strange how that works. Right? I, in our defense a little bit, I feel like it was a great thing that that pipeline got destroyed. I think it was a good thing. Because we don't want Germany... Becoming dependent? Yeah, we don't want Germany dependent on Russia or like in close ties with them where they're like, buddy, buddy, hey, you're doing something great for me. So if you need some help, we'll scratch your back too with something. We don't want Germany and Russia having that kind of relationship necessarily. That's a dangerous one. We all know Germans, Germany's history. <laughs> they're, they can get, they can get janky. <laughs> well, they did. Germany can get, but they also janky had a leader that was some ideas. janky, right? Yeah, but it just takes a few little changes. Times in the world. are different then too. <laughs> People were not like you think so, but also are. look what happened during this fake ass pandemic we just had. You think times are different now? We're all better. We're People we were about are. to kill people over toilet paper people in the used grocery to be store. Either, Dude, people were about to murder someone. There were fights over toilet paper in America. I just watched a thing last night. It's a con it's a thing about conspiracies and stuff. After you told me to watch something else, I watched something else before I went to bed. But dude, they straight up 
back in the day when nuclear bombs came, they told Americans to like hide under desks and you could cover your head with a newspaper and like you'd be okay if a nuclear bomb went off. <laughs> and people believed it, dude. Americans were like, yeah, that, yeah, that's legit. Do you know, just duck and put your ass in the air and you'll be okay. We didn't know any better, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. People are dumb. Like, true. I feel like if I was told that today, I would never believe that. But do like, you know what? what to actually do with all the knowledge we have available to us now? Do you know what to do if a nuke went off? It doesn't matter. No, because, well, there's not much you can do unless you got a bunker. There's ways to protect yourself. There is. I don't know. But <laughs> there's ways. You also need a bunker to survive in because if it's bad enough, like, you're going to have to be able to live in an area contaminated by radiation for years. So how are you going to do that? A suit's Dude. only going to be good for so long. You got to have oxygen. Dude. You can't breathe in regular air. If I can be honest, <laughs> completely honest, I think the second electricity is lost to Americans, <laughs> we are so unfathomably fucked. <laughs> you know? Imagine if this city goes out of just our little town. Mm -hmm. Just a, we're oh, good people. people. Freak out. Yeah, we're good people. We're wholesome. We're strong. We're tough. We live through these winters. How do we do all that? We do it because we have AC. We have heat. We have water. You could turn Sorry, your water women, faucet on. Women are gonna make it out of control. <laughs> my wo my girlfriend now does it. Bro. One time her our power went out. She's like she's like texting me. I'm at work. The power went out. I was like, okay. Like what's the issue? Like it'll come back on in an hour. <laughs> Like, she's like, they're like freaking out that the power went out. I was like, are you going to be okay? Can you make it till then? I don't know. You want to live? You need to go to the gas station? <laughs> like, what's the problem here? You know what's weird about that? People freak out in those situations. It's hilarious. There's a... It's like, chill for a minute. I know, but it's... <laughs> dude, we're Americans, man. We're so... We keep cocooning ourselves into this tight. electricity thing, man. Right. We are... People don't understand how dependent we are on electricity and how we think we're tough. Just, I'm going to give you an example. I was in the basement. I was in my house today and I did, I tried to do a hundred body weight squats and my legs seized up. <laughs> Stuff happens. Right. But it's, I cramped up. I seized. I was like, oh, what is this? Right. But throughout my entire day, before I went down to do that workout, I felt tough and strong and i was i was like i can do anything if a bomb if somebody attacked us i could run i could do all this mm. and my legs seized up doing body weight squats mm. <laughs> you know so it's like we have a weird perception and it's fake it's false of our own toughness in this well, country because yeah, there's so many things that can eliminate you in a split second <laughs> yeah most of our toughness is reliant on the electrical lines right outside mm. that's it if that you, goes out, you're not tough. so tough anymore. Yeah, but mentally, we're not. That's mentally, what I'm physically. saying. Mentally, I thought I was tough. I thought mm -hmm. I can do anything. Like, but my body weight squats took me out of the workout. <laughs> I feel like I'm tough was, enough to do without electricity for a while. It would suck, but I, I mean, you could survive. You could. You would think so, right? Like, sit down, pour yourself a drink, chill on the trail chair, enjoy the silence for a minute, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, sit back and be like, oh, this is what reality is. Yeah, like. but what if electricity never comes back? Then what are you going to do? They would suck. Right? <laughs> but Go in your house at fires, night when yeah. it's dark Burn and fire. we're about to get hit by winter. Your house, all the lines are going to blow out in your house. I'm going like, and raining wherever do? I need glow sticks, man. I'm getting a bunch of them. Everybody around here has got guns. You ain't stealing nothing. Glow sticks. Okay. I'm going to go get a bunch. It's not going to keep you warm. Well, I'm going to go get them instantly. It's one of my things. I'll go get them. Glow sticks? That's lighting. I watched this show a called- A kerosene lamp? Me and propane? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but where are you going to get it? That's all going to be gone within the first five minutes of the power okay. going out. Everybody's going to be at the store buying all that cut shit. Cut some trees down, burn a fire. Whose trees are you going to cut? Whoever's I want. You're going to have to walk like a few miles. And our, we don't have a lot of trees have around tree. here. You're going to cut it down? I will. Some other people to. are going to come and try to take your tree. Well, I got guns too. They've got guns. Yeah, I'll take them out and I'll take their guns. Yeah, but you see how complicated and the situation is. First, I'm going to ask them where they live <laughs> so then I can get their trees too before I shoot them. They don't have trees. They already burned theirs. Yeah, they'll be like, where's all your lumber? <laughs> well, then they had a house. You yeah. can cut that son of a bitch down. <laughs> There's lumber in those walls, man. You know what's depressing? Mm -hmm. I watch a show. Me and my girl watch this show called Alone mm -hmm. where people try to go out in the woods and survive just mm -hmm. by themselves. 
And the weird, because we were talking about how your girl freaks out, right? Mm. Oh, the electricity's out. The weird thing is, I was in, oh no, okay, this is a different show I'm, I'm thinking about. It was Naked and Afraid that I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. In the show Naked and Afraid, Alone's a great show too to go watch. But in the show Naked and Afraid, these people go out, they don't have clothes, all this stuff. It was crazily, but there's I don't know if that's a word. Crew or do they carry was, a camera with them? Uh, a camera crew just follows them around, but so doesn't. Never they don't help them. them. Yeah, but these but people. But they can if you need to. Okay, but that's like reality would be that's even weird. worse. Yeah, that's okay. What I'm so saying, here's man. here's a depiction of reality, mm -hmm. but reality would actually be ten times worse than this because you don't have that to fall back <clears> on, right? So in this <clears> show. <throat> They do have the resources still. They've got a, a doctor on standby just in case. All this, the backup plans that you would not have in normal survival. And the weird thing was to watch how a lot of the men, I was so disappointed, man, because we talk about women being weak. The women were resilient in those situations. Mm -hmm. I, most, A lot of the women in those scenarios, I was very surprised by how they kept their mental state it seemed like a little bit better in check than the men. The men were getting depressed fast. They were like, Ugh, I can't do shit. And they're laying down and just dying. <laughs> the men were giving up. The dudes with the muscles that would go out there, they would have a hard time because all your muscles, man, is just, just you burning lose your, your energy. Man. Yeah, it's, Maybe that's why they quit. They're like, I can't have this. <laughs> <laughs> it was just weird to watch those survival situations and you're thinking, I would tell my girl every, right before we start every every episode. I was like, for sure, the dudes they're gonna they got this, and the guys you would just watch them like fall apart. I'm like, what the? And I'm not saying every dude fell apart. Like the guys made it. Like a lot of the dudes made it through, but more often than not, at mentality wise and attitude wise, you're you're thinking attitude and mentality in situations like that. How you can handle your mental state is the most important thing, and that would be the thing i was watching these guys they were just losing their mental composure like quick the dudes were losing it because us dudes man we're i don't know i feel like we're almost more reliant on the electricity and all this bs we we rely on technology too right women of course rely on it but us dudes like we create technology we rely on it we use it we know everything about like guys know oh i know how this this like GPS thing works like we know all the tech stuff right I know how the computers work and the cameras all this but then when it's gone men are like they get frustrated they're like all these years I've been using all this technology to to create this man that I am and help and it's gone and the men you would just watch them fall apart you know yeah. and the women they're a little more simple because they're not so involved in creating I don't it doesn't sound, it sounds bad but. <laughs> The women aren't so involved in technology and stuff. Like, you don't see a lot of women electricians and stuff. You know, women out building power still lines need and it skyscrapers. Though, right, but to do without, it seemed like the women had a little more resilience. Just like, well, let's make a fire and live in this tent, right? Let's just mm -hmm. calm down. And the dudes are like, I can't get any food. I can't. Like, they're dying. They're laying on the ground. They're drinking water they know they shouldn't drink. And they're getting sick, like, without boiling it. All this stuff. It was just weird. It's a weird, it was a weird show to watch. But the show's also not realistic either because of the fact that they're putting him in situations where they can survive. Like, they're not naked, afraid in, in Antarctica. No. <laughs> right. Like, well, they will. You they, would survive that. They no will matter put what them in situations like that, though. Mm, and in it, the snow? Yeah, but they're not putting them mm. in places where you will survive. Because a lot of the people, they the Temperature-wise, they are, though, where they can survive. No, it's like 120 degrees, and they've got bare feet. They're walking. Okay, but you can sizzling survive. Sizzling dirt. No, but then it rains at night. It's it, It'll rain for like three days straight. It's, it's not freezing. freezing. Cold. Yes, it's cold. In the desert, it gets cold. Drops down to like 30 degrees, bitch. It's, <laughs> it gets it's still above zero. <laughs> You ain't going to well, freeze to death. Have you ever been outside when it's raining, 30 degree rain hitting you all night long? It sucks. And you're huddled up by a rock yeah. doing this all night. Just, you're dying. But like you legit can't survive when it's zero degrees. Like you will freeze and Right. Die. And that's what I'm saying. Those <laughs> A lot of people, they would tap out. They wouldn't make it like yeah. to the end of the show or however long they want to go. Yeah. They would say, I'm done. Come get me. I'm out of <laughs> here. I can't live. I'm about to die. Come <laughs> get me. <laughs> so, yeah. So reality versus our perception. Like, my reality, I, I was tough today. I was like, I'm going to yeah. do this workout. 
couldn't I couldn't do my body weight squats. I my legs cramped up and I had to quit. Well, there's something that could take you out too. There's stuff you can't see that'll take you, like a parasite, right? Like oh, that's the craziest thing. And the all little these survival thing could just shows. take you out. Yeah, they drink water. They're dying of thirst for days, and finally they're like, whatever. This water looks pretty good. I'm gonna drink it. They drink a little bit, and then they're out. They have to evacuate them from the show because they're like, this person's about to die. If that was a survival situation, if that was real life, you would die. From drinking that little cup full of water. That's how you would die. That's the reality. Yeah. It's not like you're going to die on a hill shooting guns, like fighting. Oh, you get hit in the shoulder. You go down. You grab a grenade. No, you died because you were like in the woods. You drank a cup of water and, and you just died over there by the log. <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> or they eat fish. They cook the fish and everything. Yeah, and it had a little sure parasite. Yeah. And they get sick. It's crazy. Because they don't cook it all the way. Yeah. It's Not depressing. depressing. The reality of survival is depressing. For sure. Strong dudes. But we bro. have enough stuff to where you can survive without electricity is what I'm saying. Like, you're in an area. You're in, like, an urban area. Not like, there's in enough, winter. There's enough things here. You're in a house. Like, if people aren't trying to, like, take you over or other things aren't happening, you can survive in this house in the winter without electricity. How? Ski. You burn a fire. In the house. Yes. You would die from carbon monoxide. So you cut a hole in the ceiling and out the wall. You go to Menards. You get some of that tin piping. You run it outside. You put it in a fire <laughs> thing. And the exhaust, <laughs> then the fire smoke okay. goes outside. Right? Okay. That's a very extreme but yeah, you can do situation. It. You're, both, You're in an area that's where a you... a horrible place in life to be at if that's what's happening. But you can survive. But I get it. You're right. You could Without survive. electricity. Okay, now... People have done it for hundreds of years before we had it. Right. Now, couple that. <laughs> you have to keep this fire going. You have to keep your fire. You have to keep wood. For sure. And you still have to go find food. There's no electricity mm. anymore. There's no grocery stores. you got to find food every single day. But there day. are grocery stores right now. Protein. Yeah, but if there's no electricity, the grocery store is done. Yeah. We're going through a whole winter. You're going to be burning with holes in your house. You're going to be burning wood in there. Man, you got to find rum. food. <laughs> Yeah, you Top right. ramen. You're right. We got ramen. I know that much. <laughs> Dude, you it's can just still depressing. ship that stuff. It doesn't require like refrigeration or there's things that they could still ship that you can't eat. No, the scenario I'm posing is our whole country gets is, we don't have So we don't have batteries? Yeah, there's no shipping. There's no trucks running. Oh. We're not getting food. Your vehicle is so run if you unplug the battery. Yeah, but where are you gonna get the fuel? There's no more fuel. <laughs> Siphon it from vehicles that can't run. Yeah, but fuel's only good for such a period of time, and then it's done, right? But Even storage tanks, the fuel's eventually you a few months. It's you, over. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 make it work. You make it. You figure it out. Some people will, but most people you are make it last. Die. You don't drive everywhere every day of the day, damn week. You take that vehicle only when you need it. <laughs> Where are you going to go to anyways if there's no electricity? But I would go to the forest. I also have a bike. I can ride my bike. Do you have a pedal bike? Nope. Look at that. I already got a mode of transportation. You're going to ride it in the middle of the winter? If Why? I have to. How? Through two feet of snow? Well, if Jade can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Those are on plowed streets, <laughs> Nah, <dog>. man. <laughs> Put a shovel on the front. <laughs> uh, I don't know, bro. I think we're, we're effed. We're so Most dependent on electricity. Be. This whole world now is dependent on electricity. And like you said, I probably got a bigger head about it, but I i mean, you can survive if you have to. Like, you're gonna. You either are gonna or you're not. I think I can survive <laughs> as an individual. But once you say, oh, I got my family to watch after now, too, they all have to survive. Sorry, babe, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I got me. I got me, baby. <laughs> what do you got to bring to the table? Nothing. Not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> me trying to f also make you survive and myself? I can't do it. Can't I'm do out. It. I'm just going to live. I'm going to be a hermit. My odds are better if I myself. just take care of myself. <laughs> damn, dude. It's messed up, right? Should we watch this Maui video? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Maybe we it should brush up on up. See, there's so many things you should do now, though, right? Like, if this scenario happened. Man, we should be online learning, like, medical stuff, like, everything you need to know so you can survive. <laughs> That's right? why I watch TV, these TV shows, bro. <laughs> and how realistic are they, though? Well, I mean, it gives me a great idea because a lot of them, they're telling stuff that I have no clue about, right? Uh -huh. So it's like, I didn't know how to build that shelter before I watched that person do it. Uh -huh. Now I know which one kind of works Sarai the best. Rap. I've seen I know a lot of fishing. Ones. Yeah. 
You yeah. watched them make those before? That's not going to keep the cold out, though. Mm-hmm. Have you seen them make a saran wrap, like, like thing? They even put, like, a fire thing in there. I watched a whole video on this guy making it. He put a fire pit in it. He's keeping it warm. He's cooking food in there. How much saran wrap do you a lot. have to have? A lot. Is it worth it? It keeps out the rain. You know what's better than you, saran you get, wrap? You get plenty of daylight <laughs> sunlight, so you don't need electricity. I don't want all the sun because I don't want a bear to see me in there. Mm. I want him. I want some separation, well, especially when it's dark I want outside. Want bear to come? So I'm probably hungry. It's true. You could kill bears. <laughs> that would be you so better much have a good meat. gun. That's another one. Yeah, learning how to properly dry out meat so you can save it and eat off of it for days or a week or more or whatever. You know, like because meat will spoil. If we we take for granted our refrigerators and our freezers, leave a leave a pack of ground beef on your table for a couple of days and see if you can eat that. Dude, I got a documentary I gotta find. I watched on PBS one day. I got sucked into it. PBS Kids? No, like PBS. This guy <laughs> literally documented himself. He went into the Alaskan wilderness, built his own cabin with hand tools. You can watch it all on video. The guy recorded himself. He built this cabin. He's killing food to refrigerate it. You just dig a hole in the ground so you keep it underground low there's, enough so it's cold enough. Like, it was crazy. There's tons of those videos, right? Was, yeah, but this guy, like, documented his life. Like, How long did it take It was years him? on this video that they just, like, sifted through. I wouldn't survive in Alaska. I'm going to tell you straight up, the mosquitoes would, would take me out immediately. <laughs> Immediately, if built the bears a, don't get me, the mosquitoes are definitely gonna get dude, you. Dude, he built a log cabin by himself. That's crazy. With See, that's a, hand tools. That's a special. There was no electricity. Bro. That's the guy that's gonna survive yeah. through all this. But people can do it. It is possible. <clears throat> yeah, I think the best. <sighs> Damn, dude! Imagine if the imagine a survival scenario in our town. What do, what's the best? If people are turning on each other, right, and it's every house for themselves at some point. He better get in a good group. The best scenario <laughs> is to get out of town, right? Wouldn't it be to leave town? Go out in the woods in a secluded area, get yourself a little setup, and then at night you come into town, you murder people, you take their food, and you go back to your camp. All right, I take that back. You don't murder people. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> you come in, you rob people i mean come on it's the end of the world it's survival this is hypothetical yeah you steal you come in at night you take what you need and you bounce right because if you're in mm-hmm. town that's where it's the most dangerous you get the hell off the but X, the thing right? is you, you gotta be close there. enough to town to come in and out i wouldn't be staying in this house i'll tell you that much because raiders are going to be going through every there's going to be gangs of people that, that or you going got through. your own gang well, you better get it gang, quick. Gang. Yeah, if you could get a whole gang together and you make like a nice tight community somewhere of good people, then you just deal with the politics of that, right? You guys. But then it's you guys against the rest of the town. It's going to turn into this weird scenario. I would yeah. hate that. What a weird. But this house would be a good house to do. It's, it's, it's not like super big to where there's like a lot of access points either. Yeah, like it's it's like a good size where you could like barricade enough areas to like survive. Right, just takes one match. Take this whole house <laughs> down, bro. Any house. That's though. what people you don't do get. Yeah, house. it's like one match will take down your whole fortress. A match, a little stick with a little bit of stuff on the end of it. I could take down your whole fortress. Everything, everything you work for, your ammo, your nice little safe you got in the basement with all your stuff supplied in it and you and your family i'll burn you all down to the ground burn i'll burn everybody (laughs) i don't care about nothing i want to survive i'm gonna take all the food when you guys come running out i'm gonna be sitting right outside the door and shoot well god damn you can have that match to light and i'm just gonna i'm gonna open the door and be like i got my glass of water i'm like (laughs) shut the door as i'm throwing it shit that was my last match too damn you light it, I just, like, go around the corner, I'm like... <laughs> go back in, close the door. <laughs> You're, like, sitting at the door trying to get the door to light. Somebody comes out. He just opens the door. The wind, like, blows your match out. He slams that door back in your face. <laughs> You're like, shirt. What are you doing? And then he comes back out with a 12-gauge, and that's the end of that stuff. For sure, yeah. The person could have guns. He'd kill you and then put out the fire. <laughs> but I'm going to do it when you're sleeping, right? I'm just going to show What up. makes you think I'm sleeping? Oh, you'll sleep. Tired I'm going to sleep when you're sleeping. 
I don't sleep because I'm more hungry than you. I'm outside. You got the house. I want that house. Well, you're delirious then, anyways. You're you're not on point. Yeah, I'm a crazy. I'm, I'm all, it's like a meth head guard. out there. Guess what? I got sleep though, so I'm thinking more clearly. Shit, that's a valid point. <laughs> 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 guns are definitely gonna play a part. I, I, you, everybody's gonna want a gun. I like whisper outside the window next to you on the other side, like, "Hey," and you're like, "Who was that?" <laughs> Boom! Blow your brains out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! <psst. laughs> <laughs> All you see is red on the other side. <laughs> what are we talking about? What's wrong with you? <laughs> What is Ooh, this? I thought we this. were cool. We don't have to fight each other. When yeah. did it turn into you killing yes. me? I said I was coming into town to you kill said other I people. my house down. Well, I wasn't saying well, you specifically. House. Hey. <laughs> concrete, man. Get a concrete home. Yeah, man. cinder blocks. That's going to be valuable in the end of the world. You make a cinder block igloo, thing will collapse right on me. Probably. Glass, too. You could do glass. Well, I guess you could break glass. Yeah, don't live. <laughs> don't throw stones if you live in a glass house. The famous 50 cent line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's watch this real quick. You order some Dragon's Breath, man. I, want, I still want some of them. What's Dragon's Breath? The shotgun shells? Oh, dude, speaking of Dragon's Breath. Oh, yeah, I do want some because I have a <laughs> shotgun now. You know, we tried to go pheasant hunting and you went last year without me like a freaking pussy. You went, and you went none times. That's because I never got invited. You could have went wherever you were. <laughs> Can I not be invited? You want to hunt with your boys. You don't want to hunt. Well, Who I wants go, to go pheasant you were hunting? You were here when I went. Who wants to go pheasant hunting by themselves? That's so gay, I take bro. my kids with me. Oh, I wanted to go with your kids? Show them how <laughs> tough I am with my gun. <laughs> you want to be the adult? No, nah, man, like, you don't, you don't want to be there when we this. find nothing and then like disappoint your kids on top of it. It You're was like, fun. When we were walking around, we didn't find shit. It was still fun. We saw birds. There's no male <laughs> We saw a little kid that walked by us, and I think he got a bird further down. We I heard saw, him shooting. <laughs> well, we saw a bunch of pheasants. They were just all female. His dad didn't even get out of the truck. He just sent his kid walking. He's yeah, smart. We, we saw like one rooster, I think, that whole day. He <laughs> took off quick. He was like, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is. I know what's opening weekend. I ain't a fool of this. <laughs> My dad taught me all this, all the rules of this game. <laughs> bunch of dumb humans. <laughs> took off. It's like, bitch. I remember we were so pissed. We just shot the guns up in the air at a certain point. We're just like, boom. The pheasant like picks up a rock. He's like, throws it over there. You hear it. Flies, you're like, he like, flies the other way. Yeah, he takes off running. That's the that's the other stupid thing about pheasants. They run, dude. <laughs> they won't even fly. He knows not to jump up. So he just runs. He's going through the he's grass. Like, they won't like, get me. Yeah, he's like dodging and ducking and dodging. Serpentine, the serpentine. <laughs> I hate that. That yeah. pisses me off. Man, we're all over with this one. <laughs> <laughs> back to Maui. I'm wearing. I'm back repre- from these commercial breaks. <laughs> back from this commercial break. <laughs> oh, damn! I turned off my goddamn phone, didn't I? Turn my phone back on. We have to give a shout out. We have to do a quick shout out video to the people that are uh, editing our shorts. I got a guy. I'm paying a dude to. <laughs> Whatever, I'll tell you in a minute. Let's watch this. <laughs> Ma- Let's watch this Maui video. Um, Maybe you can edit this part in there and then put the other part at the end. <laughs> 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 Make this video come up when it's supposed to, right? Yeah, no kidding, right? Let's watch this. You got your headphones. Oh. You're gonna want to pay. Well, I already don't trust this guy. What? He's freaking telling you the news. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think he's doing fair and balanced reporting. Mm. We'll see. Play it. Play it. By meeting with evacuees and cataloging their video, a more robust timeline comes into focus, and there are some surprises. Lahaina Luna Road, where it meets the highway, that was shut down at one point. Kiave Street and Honoa Pilani northbound was shut down during the height of the evacuation for over two hours. Why? Downed power lines entangled these cars on Hona Pilani Highway near Kapunakea, one block north of Lahaina Gateway. This man at 2.53 p.m. August 8th is unsure if the lines are energized and removes the power line from his SUV using a branch. Video shot by Travis Miller shortly after he goes in and out of Safeway at 3 p.m. show northbound lanes then shut down. 
This video shows no cars on the blocked off highway still, 5.24 p.m., two and a half hours later when Debbie Schultz-Peterson shot this video. Miller's video documented the lane closure during that time. He says police directed traffic down Keave Street into the cannery. They neither went out the backside on the front street. I could see that everyone was blocked, so I went out and I came this way and I got under the power line. Though we are not crossing the barricade, we're told we cannot film here. You go somewhere else, but you guys not allowed here. Big cloud of black smoke past the window. Before 4.30 p.m., Chantal Katnak is on the other side of the road closure, trying to get to the highway north from the vicinity of the bypass. There was only one cop in that area where we were at blocking for us to go to Kiave Street. She and her son Keanu can't even get down to the cannery. She follows a line of cars, taking a residential back road north, leading through Waikuli. She detours to Old Stewart Road, which eventually becomes a dirt residential street. However, the bypass is right behind her, only it's closed. But there's more. Those trying to exit the middle of town from the Hainaluna are also obstructed, heading southbound. Before 3.30 p.m., Amanda Cassidy is among the early evacuees. Anything could happen at any second, and I know that every second counts in those moments. She leaves Lahaina Luna, Makai of the bypass. But in this photo, she says when she reaches Lahaina Luna Road and the highway, it's blocked off by an officer, not just to the north, but south as well. And that's only part of the story. This investigation will continue when we look at the lane closures for those heading south of town. Reporting from Lahaina Luna. Man, at that point, I'm going off road, son. <laughs> like, why do people think they only have to follow the roads? I don't understand why cops are blocking. I can only, it because, only makes well, it sense be safe to that, go that cops way. are blocking. Yeah, if maybe there's down power lines and they know and they're like, oh, we just, can't, you can't go this way. You're going to drive over a power line and kill yourself or something. What about that grassy right there, that area? I can just drive through the grass, man. I don't even I can go around it. Yeah, it's so <laughs> weird. I don't get it. I don't understand why the cops are blocking people. In the event of a fire... <clears throat> if I think I'm going to die, like I'm driving wherever I want. Right. You think it's pretty like I'm simple. I'm follow a road in a lot of cars. I don't know, man. It, it... In this situation, I'm going to die just sitting parked here waiting for these other cars. No, people, did, <laughs> people did die right in their cars, just yeah. on the road, you know? Burn them to <clears> death. <throat> and then there's people doing videos saying, oh, these cars... They could never burn at this temperature with a wildfire or whatever, right? The glass well, stuff's like melted. The glass wouldn't melt like this. But then you go through the comments and there's always that guy that's like, of course glass can melt. Like, I'm a firefighter and this and that. So you don't know what's true. Like I'm saying, like you just can't. I don't know what temperature glass melts. I don't, I've but never this had metal. Any. They're saying too, like some of it they showed like the metal was like liquefied from the cars, like melted. And then the road itself was intact. Well, shouldn't that metal be a hotter temp than the tar that was laid down? And then there was a blue car that was not burnt. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. But I don't get that. And blue houses, right? I don't get that, though. Because if a laser comes down and starts a fire, I understand a laser maybe can't light blue on fire. I don't even know if that's true or not. I'm just saying it. <laughs> Let's say... Lasers don't light blue shit on fire, right? Mm -hmm. That still doesn't mean once the fire's there, the fire's not going to abide by the lasers, the lasers, um, restraints. The still burn. The fire right? itself should burn. Blue. The fire would still burn blue. Yeah, it would burn blue houses. <laughs> it would burn blue cars. So this doesn't make sense at no. all, especially if there's like a blue car in the middle of the street and everything around it is burnt. That makes. Zero sense to me. <laughs> Absolutely no sense. Right. So I don't get the blue thing. I didn't dive too deep into that enough to know if it's real or fake or what. But people keep coming up with this blue, this blue, this blue. But it doesn't make any sense with fire. Once the fire is on the ground. Fire, but if it's lasers, lasers went. <laughs> and there was no fire. It just melted it. It was all just laser. If that's what, they, if that's what they're going by. But you, there was your fire. Your conspiracy is the blue. Yeah. There's smoke. So how does the fire not burn something that's what blue? What if it's both? <laughs> I, I, I think it was all just, I think it was just a big fire. I want to know how this happened when you literally live on an island that has volcanoes and there's potential for fire every day. <laughs> yeah, you don't have enough water. There's no plant. How do you not? Here's the thing too. The water, right? They say, oh, we talked about this at work. And this is a good point, right? 
No, this is what it came up with. I don't okay. Believe, I don't believe you. I'll have order. Listen to this. And I don't believe you. I got you. an answer for this. <laughs> All right. Right? They say their, their, their water stuff wasn't working either, right? Like something happened, right? That was one of the things. Or did we talk about this? I don't remember where I talked about You and about I this. talked about this. Their the water ocean. pressure. They're surrounded by an ocean. How is there not water pumps on the ocean for like emergency? You spray the ocean water on the fire. Maybe they didn't ever. That can't put. Well, because that's salt in it. Does that burn? I don't know. <laughs> like what? No, salt water will put out fire. Okay, so what's this? Why is there not something else in place? Like you could. Why was there not pumps on the water? Like people bringing pumps and like hooking up hoses and trying to put these fires out. Like I don't understand. What's the you are so you're surrounded by millions and millions of gallons of water. Like how's there not something in place for that? Like I get there's like your 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 fire system like in the city. Yeah. But there should be some kind of like it just seems odd that you couldn't have put out a fire. I know. This is all very odd. And I get like there's points because I'm sure someone's gonna say. There, there's points to where the fire can get so out of control, like that. That's not going to matter, right? Like, yeah, one guy out of the hose ain't going to put out this ridiculous fire. I I think the winds probably. Well, I think too. Like all the winds, the crazy. Like we saw the wind blowing in that video. I think that had a huge part in it. And they, I don't, dude. I don't, it's weird. Maybe they, maybe the fire department was like, there's no way we're going to control this fire. Just like, Let's just shut everything down so people don't even try and they just focus on getting Okay, out. but how did they not save a bunch of people then? Or did they? I they tried know. to direct traffic to, <clears throat> to safe places, With two maybe. guys? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till a documentary comes out, this Maui thing on Netflix. We know it's coming oh, soon. It's got to be. Someone's going to put it's together a, a crazy I'm sure it's a mess. All they proved is like their system failed. Whatever they had in place. It failed horribly. People are dead. Children are missing. Apparently, mm. Oprah and The Rock are there asking us all for money. And I think her home is, is okay still, by the way. Her home's fine. <laughs> all his stuff, I'm sure, is fine somehow. You know, it's just, I'm not giving a dime. You better talk to Joe Biden. They should have sent that video that they made together, her and The Rock. They should have sent that video to Joe Biden in the White House and said, hey, donate. <laughs> okay. This is America. This is a disaster relief fund you need to prepare for Hawaii over here. The only people I feel bad for are people that are native here and are from there, like straight up, like their families for generations have lived here. Now, if you're somebody that moved from the U.S. to like Hawaii, do I feel bad people died? Yes. Do I feel bad that you moved there? No. Oh, he's talking shit about white You're people. living on an island that has <laughs> that has a volcano, like is literally formed by volcanoes. Like you have that potential for lava and all that stuff to happen. Right. Like you are sitting in an you're living in an area that is doomed from the start. <laughs> like volcanoes, if not volcanoes, oh wait, here comes a tsunami. Like <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many Oh, there's a hurricane. Oh, what? Disaster. It just seem like there's always things that could possibly happen in this area. Yeah. Like you you chose to live there, you know, for these people that vacation or have vacation homes like I get it, but I don't feel bad for you. Like you, you went to an area that is very, like you live in a potential area where something bad to happen, right? Do you think they're trafficking children? You think that's at the root of all this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did you watch that video I sent you of the guy that was talking about the black craft that came in this, the Sean Ryan show? He's talking about this black craft. Him and his squad of Marines were going through the forest, and all of a sudden they're surrounded by these dudes with no markings on their uniforms. <laughs> they're in all black, and they can see through the clearing this this big black hovering uh, circular object with, like, a triangle up top of it, and it's trucks are driving onto this platform underneath it, and they're disappearing up into this craft. <laughs> then the craft takes up and phew, disappears off into the sky, he said, like that, just turns into, like, a little black dot, like, phew, gone do you watch that video you didn't i can tell by the way you're shaking your head skis i'll have order children skis. to another planet because ours is doomed <laughs> <laughs> i just we just it's all conspiracy mm -hmm. it's all conspiracy we're just having fun folks we don't honestly believe most of the stuff we talk about no shut up <laughs> <laughs> maybe we do maybe we don't all right on the topic of that flat <laughs> 
Flat Earth has come back into my life. <laughs> Is it? Now, I want to make this very clear. I'm not a flat earther. Yeah. <laughs> okay? I still believe the earth is round. There, I watched a video of this guy called Zerka. You know who Zerka is? Mm. Oh, bro. Let me introduce you to the master of convincing you. The, f- the earth is flat? Well, he's not only the master of... He's like, he's like the very ghetto version of Andrew Tate. He's like a down dirty. He's like Andrew Tate back before Andrew Tate got into all the trouble and Andrew's like, oh, I need to clean up some shit in my <laughs> I need to be a little more professional. That's Zerka. Right? I'm gonna send you a video when we're done here of Zerka talking about flat earth and explaining there's been ugh, I've definitely God, seen crazy dig, stuff. When you dig into NASA though, bro, I the can, footage I've that NASA shows stuff. of the Earth at sixty or whatever, sixty thousand feet, I think NASA shows the curvature of the earth and all their shit, right? But independent people have launched off rockets and they go 100,000 feet with their balloons or whatever. They launch these these balloons, they go up with a camera and they're looking around and everything is completely flat at 100,000 feet. NASA's going up 60,000 and showing us the curvature, right? And they're showing... Then there's like videos of nat- astronauts like with their strings, you know, they've got their little harnesses on and all this weird shit. It's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Dude, I'm sure. telling you, I've gone into this small rabbit hole <laughs> and it is freaking terrifying. Well, I've seen the one where the guy shows like how you can make, he's like, you think this is a satellite in space, don't you? And he like flips the camera around. Oh, yeah. He has it upside down, and, and it does. It legit looks like a satellite floating around up in space. And it was just his front yard. Yeah. With the clouds above. Yeah, <laughs> it's nuts. Terrifying. <laughs> it, was abs- it was absolutely terrifying. He's like, that just shows you how simple it is to Dude, do fear. Let's do this real quick. Let's do a, a quick, uh, let's do a quick, um, what's the word? Experiment. Because one of the things Zerka said, he said, Google. Google. Well, flat earthers also believe there's like a, a firmament, right? Like, it's a lot of flat earthers also believe we're inside like a dome, basically. We can't get out of. True. But he said, Google Antarctica from space mm-hmm. and tell me if you can find a single image that is not fake. I've seen old maps too where they show like, and granted it's old enough, but they're showing like how it's flat you know and we're actually surrounded by a thing of ice and the un symbol itself for the united nations yes shows like the the leaves around like the land right and it's on like a flat map yes 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 some of that stuff but i get it like, hey man any anything anybody can be persuaded right anything, no but could it be possible anything. anything's could possible could it be possible that the earth is We've, flat af bro things we're doing now i'm sure people a thousand years ago or whatever if i would have said we're never possible and we're doing it right so obviously anything's possible right just because somebody says it's not doesn't mean it's not jesus christ you are half of btg squad i'll have order can we get you to answer the question skis could the earth anything's possible that's a political answer well i don't know i've never been to space damn you got me on that Take me into space and show me. No, you don't want to go, because trust me. Well, you ain't coming back. I don't, I don't think you're coming back, bro. <laughs> I... I'm definitely not on the first commercial flight. I'm letting those I'm letting those simmer for a while, if those ever become a thing. No, I'm cool on all that. I will take I will go footage. a couple years later when yeah. they've shown they're successful and nothing happens. Yeah, come back with the footage and tell me what, what's going on. But you don't you can't believe the footage, right? Yeah, but listen, none of these images are real. It's all like digital. It's digital or they show like a close up of a brick of ice. I mean anything like I've seen so much stuff. Obviously, I go into rabbit holes too where I try to like convince myself. I want to I want to be I want to be persuaded. I want to be shown. I want to I want to see something that gives me a definitive answer on things. We need so to that's it. why I look at things, right? Yeah. And I've seen the one with the moon where they like take the re- moon and the moon's just a reflection of like, like they cut and it's just our map of earth. What? They take pictures of the moon 
and they say it's just the map of the earth. They can like draw the lines and like all the craters and stuff. Oh. And it's just like our continents off a map. It's like a reflection of a map. Basically. That doesn't make any sense though, because I can go outside and look at the moon. Yeah. So it's obviously but up there. You see it in depth. But it's not like a just a cut out of Earth. It's not a map of Earth up there. But What's it could that? be is it fake? Is it real? Is it a real well, thing? You think it's like a light? Just a <laughs> light bulb? <laughs> I don't know. There's a go there's where scientists thought at one time it wasn't it wasn't solid, right? I watched a video on yeah, that. Yeah, it's like gas. Yeah, like a gas mass or something like up in the air. It looks too solid to be gas. You would think gas at some know. point would like, ex you would, we would see it like shift, sh shape shift or something. It's... India landed a thing on the south side and it looked like you're playing Space Invaders from 1960s, right? I'm telling you, India landing, a sh <laughs> what did they land? What the hell did India, India, right, isn't it? Russia just failed doing it, and now India did it. India landed on the moon, apparently, right? Is there footage of that? Oh, see, someone Moment says, becomes... see, here's a short from CNN, by the way, that says, see, moment, <laughs> not that that means anything, <laughs> we will have orders, keys. Yeah, I CNN. mean, let's be real. Crappy news Hey, man, network. you haven't hit your gavel <laughs> once today. Yeah, oh yeah, will, you have, will you have <laughs> order? <laughs> Let's Crappy news network. India has become now the fourth country to land a spacecraft on the moon after the U.S. and China and the former Soviet Union. The Sandrayaan 3. Yeah, well, what is that? Well, what is it? This is comical. Oh, what are you showing me? What was India's that? Space Research Organization <laughs> He's like, we did it. Sharing stunning what photos was from that? The India landed on the south pole of the moon, and experts believe there could be ice, mineral deposits, valuable Show that elements ship again. there. India has become now the fourth yeah. country Let's to watch land a spacecraft on the moon after the U.S. Real. and China this and the former Soviet kind of Union. This is some kind of What is that? Three what spacecraft that? landed Bro, on the lunar That's a freaking South video game. From the 1960s. <laughs> Play me the footage. Where's the footage? We're literally a country. That's the footage right there. Of, there no, 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 no. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's it. Look at, look at it go. Look at it land. You can't be serious. You can't be. What What the hell is this? I'm, I'm so confused. That, did they just touch down? Oh, they touched down! Oh! Oh! Look at how real that oh looks. Oh my god! Congratulations! Oh, that's the ship? Oh, that's how small the moon is? Look at the curvature, it's crazy. Our moon mission! Shut the f- It's also based on the same human-centric approach. Therefore, this success belongs to all of humanity. Why aren't you even smiling, bro? What's happening? What is happening? Do you buy that? What just happened? Did you buy that? I didn't buy that video if that's supposed to be the actual ship landing. Bro, I can't. I play video games that look better. Here's the creepiest part about all of this. Where is the footage? Is this it? This looks pretty real from NBC. Show it. Is this real? Is this the footage? That this is the spaceship? I don't know. That looks weird, dude. This right? is the moon? Is that the moon? It's supposed to be a... Uh... Show it to me. This is the moon? That's what the moon looks like? That's crazy. Why are we going there? India. We didn't go there. India apparently is way smarter We've than been the United there. States. Supposedly we put people on it, so right? Dude, that looks pretty moon-like to me, doesn't it? Could this be real? <laughs> That's being... the footage. Are you sarcastic? <laughs> I'm being super sarcastic. <laughs> kind of. Let's read the comments. It's so real looking. They could never fake it. <laughs> <laughs> NBC, great reporting. Such trusted news. Stanley Kubrick would have been proud. Did Chelsea report in this story? You could tell it's real because it looks so fake. Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that lunar surface doesn't look like it's CGI at all. So the moon is small enough that you can see the curvature. Wow, just wow. So it doesn't seem like anybody's buying this. You know what's funny? You see all these comments, yet about these news channels, right? How are they even still, like, exist? Like, yeah. It seems like so many people don't believe them or, like, don't want to watch it. Like, it seems like the majority of people, right, are against, like, news channels. And somehow, yet they still exist. <sighs> somehow they still put out news and they're still around. I think it's the reason these news too. channels are still around is just we enjoy it's to weird. troll situations. Like a lot of people just enjoy to troll. We need somebody <laughs> to make fun of, you know?
Yeah, I guess. So it's like, but they're getting paid. Around. They're getting paid for that. <laughs> That's true, and they're making tons of money. I I I don't believe that. I don't even want to look at what's his face, Tyson dude. Neil I, I don't like him no more. Neil deGrasse Tyson on the three Chandrayaan three landing on lunar surface. Sky is not the limit for India. Good for you, Neil. Shut the. F- How dude, much my, did you get paid? My thing is, yeah, my <laughs> thing is, we are a world of, we're everything is video now. Everything like, if you don't get it on video, it's not real anymore. <laughs> like. To, th- to have something as crazy as them shoot a rocket off into space, even India, they go up there, they have this tiny little camera positioned on the side of the spacecraft that captures just this nice image of the curvature of the moon and the darkness of space, and that's it. There's not like a a camera like situated on all sides. We want to get all the angles, space, what's a- completely above, what's below, what's... No, we just get this one little angle that could be... Very easily faked. You went to the effing moon, and this is the footage that you sent back in the year 2023. You want us to all laugh and congratulate you. I've seen movies put out better fake stuff. It's comical. (laughs) I've seen, oh yeah, movies are light years ahead. (laughs) (laughs) So if we have that technology, how can we not have a camera that captures it better? That's what I don't understand. I refuse. I say it here now on BTG Squad. I refuse to believe it. Okay? That could have landed anywhere. I absolutely refuse. Anything else you want to talk about? No. Before we, we, we kind of just went do, off the wall with this one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're going to close this video out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this podcast with BTG Squad. I don't know. I can't remember what we all talked about. Maui. Everything. Support Maui. You can't survive. I'll burn your house down. Conspiracies can be real. Conspiracies. We got videos. They're floating here. They're here. You'll see them. Subscribe to BTG Squad. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. (laughs) Tell us what you think. We'll catch you guys in the next (laughs) video. Peace. What's cooler than that? Well, keep it simple, stupid.